Good morning. <clears throat> Uh, because we do not have still uh, the slides, avail slides available for us, so we are going to sing a song at the beginning. Uh, so uh, the Green Books, uh, there is a song on Jordan, Jordan's Bank, number 278, the Green Books. But if you have the missilets uh, uh, with you, the page is 181. So uh, Green Books, number 278, or missilets, the page 1181 one, on Jordan's bank. On Jordan's bank, the Baptist cry, the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken for him bring. Glad tidings of thy King of Kings. Then cleanse be every soul from sin. Make straight the way of God within. And let each heart burn home for such am I. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Uh, my dear brothers and sisters, today we pray for this is members of the Charles and for Thier families, and for this is Don Welch. Let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, sisters to, to pray, pray for me, me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come to our help with mighty strength that what our sins impede, the grace of your mercy may hasten. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock, he humbles those in high places, and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Blessed be he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who has come in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, God. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on the rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. I have to share something with you because I thought it wasn't only cute, it was extremely funny. Uh, Father Dominic goes to about five different nursing homes, and he does a mass, and he gives our communion, of course. Uh, and sometimes Roger or I go with him, or if he can't make it, he has us go, and we do a communion uh, service. Well, yesterday I went to Summerfield uh, Nursing Home, <laughs> and as I walked in, I'm sitting in, and I'm setting up thing. This little old man comes in. He's over 90 years old, and he's looking at my head. And I said, what is he looking at? And he's really staring intently. He's looking at it, and I said, well, what's the problem? And he puts, up his, <laughs> he puts up his little thing, and he goes, the last time when you were here, weren't you bold? I said, <laughs> I said no, that was Father Dominic. That's not me. Said, are, you, are you Polish? I said, no, I'm Italian. So, okay, and he sat down, so I guess that was it. But I thought that was kind of cute, because he, he, he's really staring. I couldn't make out what he was staring at. He says, weren't you bold the last time? I said, no, 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 wrong person. Okay, I thought, it was, I thought it was adorable. Have you ever made a New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve uh, revolu uh, resolution or uh, go to a gym and then you decide you're going to do something? You've heard people talk about things, and I'm going to finally do this and I'm going to do that, but we never really act on it. We do it for a little while and then we kind of like back off. Okay, we make promises or we'll do things and somebody gives us really good advice to do something and we say, yeah, and we mean it when we say it, but we never follow through, we never pay attention. Okay? In today's gospel, Jesus is trying to get a message across. Okay? He's saying, listen, if I tell you something, you should be listening. And I'm telling you, I suggest you should be doing it. You should be doing it. You should act on it. I think sometimes we, we, we don't understand what kind of a religion and faith we have. This God is different. And he's not saying things from up on his throne up there. He's come down as a human being. He's 
pushed his power and his God thing to the side, okay, that he could have used. All right, and he rolls up his sleeves and jumps in the mud and is proactive and takes action. And that's an important message we have to get across, okay? We're not going to get much out of this faith unless we take action. Now, we start off by learning the faith, of course, mentally, right? You need a brain, you need some intelligence, you learn in school, you read, people explain things, and that's important. Now, when we do that, if we're enlightened by that and, and we're encouraged by that, hopefully it moves from here to here. It goes into our heart, into our soul, the essence of who we are. And hopefully it affects us so much that it affects who we are and what we become. We actually start to change and do things. And then the next most important part of that, that tripod, okay, is to put that into action. We've got to go out and do it. Otherwise, nobody's going to know who we are, okay? We, we have been commissioned in many ways to not only go out and become evangelists and go out and spread the news, okay? We've been told that, you know, we're part of this. We have to see, people have to see who we are. We have to be a people of action. They want to make sure that if they're looking at it, really what should happen. I heard this girl say something to somebody one, but I thought it was fantastic. I would love to hear that. But she was talking to this guy. She says, you know, you're a Catholic, right? And he said, yeah. She says, no, I don't believe in this stuff. I don't know if I believe in Jesus. I don't know about that. But I know one thing. If Jesus was down here, he'd be acting the way you did. I said, whoa, what a beautiful statement for to say to that person. I hope he realized what he heard. You know, um, and that's the way we should be. Unfortunately, sometimes Roman Catholics are known to be quiet. <laughs> we're good when we're in an atmosphere. We're good when we're in the building. But when we get out there and anybody challenges us, we fall apart. And we shouldn't do that. Jesus wants us to put into action what he tells us to do. Otherwise, it has no meaning. It doesn't mean anything. Once we learn something, we want to share it with somebody. We want to make other people know about it. We're not forcing it on them, but we want to enlighten them to at what's going on so they can see, oh, that's what it means to be a Catholic, a Christian. Ah, okay. And if people see the right thing, they want to do it. They see you're always at peace and you're smiling even when you're under duress. Or th Ooh, there must be something going on with this faith, this religion. You know, it's important. And Jesus is making it very clear. If you don't take action... It's like building your house on sand. When things, when you're buffeted by, by trials and tribulations, when you're buffeted by people who are going to make fun of us or, or yell at us, you know we're the center target in the world right now anyway. You know, if you're a Catholic, you've got a target on your back. You know that already. Okay, and we've got to be ready to do that. He wants us to stand firm and do what we have to do. And you don't have to know everything there is to know. Just be strong in your faith. And one of the best ways to do that is how you believe. If you believe something and you really believe and you like that, and people say, well, what do you do that for? It's nice to give some kind of explanation, but because it makes me happy. Someone was arguing me one time, how could you believe this? How could you believe that? It's crazy. I said, but are you happy not believing? Yes. Are you secure not believing? You feel you oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the way I feel about my faith. That's the way I feel about my God. I'm happy. I'm content. Okay, I, I'm happy with that. And I would love to see you be happy with that. Okay, because you're going to reach a dead-end street sooner or later and say, what do I do now? I think about that a lot. If I didn't have my faith, I don't know how I'd get through a lot of things. I really don't. I would have gave up a long time ago. A long time ago. You know, and you say, well, where do they get it from? It's because of that faith and what Jesus said and the Blessed Mother and the saints and the church father, that encourages you and that strengthens you. So the main lesson that's trying to get across today is, listen, you've got to put things into action. You can't just be a talker. You can't be an armchair general. You got to get out and do something. You know, I want you to act on what I'm telling you to do. If we don't, that's the worst thing we can do. If we want to help evil, we want to help the devil, we want to help the, the demoralization of the planet that's going on, just sit back and do nothing. Now, I'm into biology and stuff like that. I'm into science like that. Um, I'm into exercising. I love all of that stuff, you know. And I remember one time there was a... Um, some uh, thing that they, some research that somebody did. And it says that sitting is the new smoking. And the point that we're trying to get across, if you really want to hurt yourself, sit back and do nothing. You know, then we're just as guilty. If we don't inform people about what they're doing wrong, and we're not judging them. I hear a lot of this now. Oh, I don't want to judge anybody because nobody could judge anybody's heart. And that's what, yeah, and you're right. But I could judge an action. And we have a moral obligation to ourselves, to them, and God to make sure they know that. Otherwise, we are not helping them. We are enabling them to stay in their sin and their error and spread it to everybody else. 
So Jesus is trying to get across today, please, when you hear something, if it's good, and I'm saying it, and it's said in the commandments, in the Bible, act on it. So people could see that you're really into your faith, okay, and you're evangelizing that way. You don't have to be a genius. By the way you act and talk and do, people see that. Amen. United as the body of Christ, we turn to the Lord with our prayers and petitions. For the church, may the Lord guide and empower her in seeking the lost sheep and returning them to the fold. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. For governments and world leaders, may God's wisdom inform and direct their decisions and actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. For all who are struggling with illness or personal afflictions, may the Lord in his compassion offer them strength and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. For this faith community, may the Lord make us constant in prayer during this Advent season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our beloved dead, may they find peace in the arms of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. Let us pray for our Christian brothers and sisters who are being persecuted all over the world and for the holy souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for any special prayers or petitions we have in our prayer book or any special prayers or petitions we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we humbly pray that you grant these petitions according to your holy will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart may be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. <clears throat> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all in his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we may gather from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below, Gain for us the pray, price of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he assumed that his first coming, the loneliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, 
and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, our host, heaven and earth, uphold your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died. In your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, 
and save from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of the mouth, so shall be healed. May the blood and blood of Christ give me so for eternal life. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in hope and peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hey, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrust it is only Son, in you Mary placed her trust, with you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us to show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life, obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Our Novena Prayer to the Immaculate Conception, Day 4. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary did prepare a worthy dwelling place for your Son, we beseech you that, as by the foreseen death of this, your Son and you did preserve her from all stain, so to you would be permit us purified through her intercession to come to you. Through the same Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, world without end, amen. amen. O Mary, Mother of God, endowed in your glorious immaculate conception with the fullness of grace, unique among women, and that you are both mother and virgin, mother of Christ and virgin of Christ, we ask you to look down with a tender heart from your throne and listen to our prayers as we earnestly ask that you obtain for us the favor for which we now plead. O Mary of the Immaculate Conception, Mother of Christ, you had influence with your divine Son while upon this earth. You have the same influence now in heaven. Pray for us and obtain for us from him the granting of my petition, if it be the divine will. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor. Our King, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. Thank you so much. Have a very blessed day. Thank you.